outside Kodiak. Coming up! Oh, buddy! Looks like money. Yeah, buddy. Yes, grab! Tanner Hammer starts again! Aboard the Victory. Today's our last day of fishing. I have a total of uh, 16,037 crab on board. We'll get through the gear here, reach my goal of $100,000, finally break even. Last pot, guys, woo! Oh, buddy. Got me again, new pair of shoes. <laughs> Just pulled up like two grand. I'm gonna get a pendant the size of this crab. That's a wrap for Tanner 2023. We made a little over $100,000. Knock on wood, it's not over yet. Closing out her rookie season at the helm of her late father's vessel, nearly a week ahead of schedule. Hey, Steve, wondering if there's a chance I could offload. Skipper Sophia Bob Nielsen becomes a victim of her own success, putting her six-figure cargo into a holding pattern until her scheduled delivery. Let her rip! Henry's here just don't have enough processing capacity. I'm looking at an offload date of maybe five days from now. That means we got to non-stop circulate on the crab to uh, keep my crabs alive and well. Do you hear that? seawater coming out and it just keeps flowing out. That's why it's just the crab gone. They're gonna start dying. You have got to be kidding me. The keel coolers are underneath the boat. It's how you chill your coolant and it must be damaged somehow, and it's the only way that the engine would be stuck in salt water right now. Bottom line is, I gotta offload this crab onto another boat. With Cannery's book solid and the vessel's freshwater circulatory system failing, Bob must find her $140,000 worth of Bairdite crab, a new home, or suffer massive dead loss. Hey, how's it going? Oh, my engines are sucking up salt water right now. And I'm just wondering what it's gonna take to get my crab on your boat. Um, I mean, um, as far as weather, what's weather looking like right now? Right now, it's really nice. I know it's supposed to be picking up. Okay. We should probably do it. The sooner, the better. Um, I will. Uh, I'll get down there and I'll, I'll give you a shot there when we're leaving the dock. All right. I appreciate all your help. Thank you for being on standby. All right, no problem. All righty. I'll we'll talk to you here soon. Okay. Bye bye. So 
So I'm gonna pitch all my crab onto this boat. They're gonna have to hold on to it until my offload date. It's really nice of this guy. Not super stoked. This season's gonna be a huge bust if all those crab die. Woo! On the Aleutian Lady. You know, I really love this boat in this weather. <laughs> it handles like a dream. It rolls, but it handles so nice. All right, guys, here we go. Y'all ready? Roger. Thanks for coming up here in a couple. We need to get our quota and get to town. Hey, what's up? A hospital? Are you serious? But what are the doctors saying? All right, finally seen the first pot. We need some crowd, fast. Our opening set was showing a little bit of shine in this depth curve, 40 to 50 in every pot. So it'll be interesting to see what we find. It's gonna suck. Some of us has gotta go home. Some of us have to do. Crab count four. I got four of them. You gotta find some good counts. Throw it. <laughs> Second pot's coming up. Let's hope it's a little bit better. No table. Rick, count stop. Yeah, I don't know why right he's being. Was that 17 or seven? Seven. Seven. Jacob's normally the spark and the happiness out on deck. But man, he's he's in a rare form right now. These single digits are not helping us catch our quota by any means. Never getting home on this. Set it back. What's the point of setting back on seven and four? I think next time it'll be a little bit better. Hey! Some of us need to get home! Oh, Jacob, you come upstairs. I don't know what's up his ass. This is gotta stop and it's gotta stop right now. This. Hey man, I'm not gonna put up with the this is my boat. I don't need you coming after me nitpicking when you have no damn clue what you're talking about. You need to start listening and get your head out of your ass and stop. Dude, shut your mouth. You do not have the right to come on my boat and start barking, having issues. Knock this off. I am not gonna have somebody come on my boat and start giving me lip when he doesn't have a damn clue what he's talking about. <laughs>